Hi everybody, I'm Josh Constein with TechCrunch TV backstage at TechCrunch Disrupt with Joanne Bradford, the head of partnerships at Pinterest. Thank you for joining us. Absolutely. So you worked in media for a long time. You were at the Chronicle, you worked at Demand Media and at Yahoo. What do you think about how media is consumption is changing? Like how what people want, how is that changing over time? Um, I think they want news. Uh, they don't mind following the arc of a story over a long period of time. So, um, you know, they get a bunch of different pieces of information from areas, whether it's Facebook or Twitter, but it all comes from great content creators like you guys um, on putting it out there. I don't think you can rely on a portal anymore. I've worked at two of the big portals, um, and I can't remember the last time I went to a portal to get my news or media information. I find it through many other places, and so that's the big challenge for content creators today. But you don't view Pinterest as sort of a portal to products? Uh, no, I think of us as, um, you know, really personal discovery and thinking about being um, a creative tool um, and thinking about being people's futures. So they save and organize information in a different way. I don't know that you'd find breaking news on Pinterest, um, but you could find um, a lot of information about any topic that you were looking for, that you were passionate about. How do you guys make P Pinterest seem urgent and super relevant in, that, in this age of constant news then? Not everybody cares about news all the time so people care about lots of things in their lives you know news is only one part of my day the rest of my day is thinking about my family I'm a mom thinking about my work thinking about my health and fitness and my exercise thinking about things that I'm passionate about and sometimes getting away from that so um, Pinterest helps you do that and a lot of great brands just get their content discovered on Pinterest you know the other day I was looking at um, my spring wardrobe <laughs> I actually have two boards one called casual wardrobe and one called work wardrobe um, and I pin things and um, look at that. And then when I go to the store, I'm like, oh, here's what I liked. Um, you know, same thing for dinner, same thing for exercise. I was trying to do some exercises yesterday. I've got a fitness 2014 board. I haven't gotten to 15 yet. Mm -hmm. um, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna do my exercises from this. So it can become a, a part of your everyday life um, in a very different way. And all that content that I looked at came from, you know, professionally created media companies. So I know that there's a lot of you know, inspirational content like quotes, there's fitness content and stuff on Pinterest, but there's also a lot of products. Do you think that it's sort of accelerating or pushing uh, like a, a type of materialism or consumerism? Well, I think that it actually is more thoughtful when you save something and think about, do you really want it? Do you really like it? Um, and, you know, like people need things. They need, you know, food, clothing, homes, and they want theirs to be the best. They want to go on vacations. They want them to be great. Um, I actually think it's really amazing that they're, you know, more considered um, and thinking about things in a different way. So. But is considering a purchase for longer, does that make it less materialistic? It might be less impulsive, but you know, you, you talked about needing these things like needing food and shelter. I don't know if I think of the things I see on Pinterest, like these gorgeous condos or these like adorable marshmallow pops yeah. being like the things that people need. So I'm just trying to, I'm trying to understand like, uh, does just wanting something or planning it more, being more premeditated about it, make it less materialistic? Um, so I have uh, like, a house ideas on my board beautiful homes i don't think i'll ever be able to have one of those homes but i might be inspired by one of them to make my home a little bit more beautiful or my life a little bit more enjoyable as a result of that which is very different than materialism so um, I, I think it's a little bit different you know like my daughter pins woodworking projects you know she really is passionate about woodworking and it's a skill set for her and so she's really learning something um, and so I don't, I think about that as like a different use case where you're actually trying to enhance your life and make it better. And a lot of people that use Pinterest um, are on, um, you know, finding ways to do things more cost effectively. Is there anything that Pinterest does for, from a more top down perspective to push that more like sort of learning and educational aspect of it opposed to the materialistic aspect? Yeah. Um, so, you know, Pinterest is a very optimistic, happy, positive place for people. Um, I think that they think about it that way, that they love the brand that way, um, that they really have a great time when they go there. And um, so we just hope that people save and organize and do things that make their lives better. Sure, I think it's it's really expressing this nesting instinct that people have, the way that you know, I think a lot of our physical possessions have been digitized over the last few years. And so while you might have used to want to like fill your home with these physical objects, now the idea that you can have like a digital home filled with digital representations of objects, I think make, might make us be able to feel like we have things that 
define our identity without having to own as much stuff. Yeah, I, I mean, I think that, you know, a lot of people plan great celebrations, they plan trips, they plan meals, they plan different things. Um, you know, I think people just live a little differently, and I think Pinterest is a positive influence on how they live and how they organize those things and do them. Cool. Thank you very much for talking sure. with us. Cheers. Absolutely.